In this video, I will show how to update the Galaxy Note 10 Plus the Exynos model to the Eternity ROM version 5.4 which is the latest release. And also, after that, I will show how to make the device certified and how to get the strong integrity. Better to watch the full video, do not skip any part. If you are having Galaxy Note 10 Plus and if you are having Eternity ROM, you want to update. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos chipset model phone that I got right now and already using the ported ROM of the One UI 7 Android 15. Check the build number I got right now, Eternity ROM version 5.3. Now the Eternity ROM version 5.4 got released for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and uh, uh, other models also. And those who are using 5.3 version, they want to update the phone, watch the further video. Do not forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, just click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, click the select all. Thank you so much. So here are the details provided by the developer that already in my video description must read the change log so you will get an idea what are the things new coming with the ROM what are the fix coming with the ROM now if you read here clearly developer said that clean flushing is required for everyone in case like uh, if you have version 5.3 and if you want to dirty flash yes it will get flash without losing a data but maybe the ROM performance will not good you will face lagging maybe bugs so better to go for the clean flashing right well I am going for the clean flashing I do not want to get uh, lagging or to get any bugs or disturbance there are many things provided in the details must read it now let me show how to download it in my video description link is provided here and also password provided copy the password first from the video description then click the link so this website will get open the password that provided already select it all and then press ctrl v to paste the newly copied password and then click unlock and on this pop-up window click update and definitely you will see the folder which is categorized click on roms folder if you see this pop-up again click update and then come down here you will see all the versions are here so I will go for the version 5.4 which is the latest one. Click on 5 version V5.4. Files are all provided. Code name D1, D1X, KS, D2S, D2X, D2X, S, X, S. My mobile phone which is Galaxy Note 10 Plus having a code name D2S. This one. I will go for this one. So I will click this file link. The file will start getting downloaded. So you can see that uh, I got all the files. D2S is the code name of my mobile phone. 5.0, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4. And, 5 .4. and uh, because uh, I already having a 5.3 on my mobile phone. So I do not need to flash the TWRP. Because the Eternity ROM TWRP Origin Pack 3.0 already got flash on my mobile phone and also i do not need to flash the cleaner or the repartition file because this version 3 repartition or cleaner file already flashed when i was flashing the 5.3 version or 5.2 version right now in case if you have uh, like version 5.0 you want to update the phone to 5.4 also you don't need to flash the twrp origin pack because you have flashed already the three version 3.0 origin pack when you were flashing the version 5.0 and also there is no need to flash the cleaner or the repartition file also in case if you have version 5.0 or 5.2 or 5.3 right coming back towards the mobile phone so before booting to the twrp we need to save all the data because the data will get formatted because I am going for the clean flashing, right? Check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged. In case if the battery is below 30%, then make it charge. In case if you are using Samsung account, then sync your Samsung account once, must remove it. Also, if you sync your Google account, must remove it to avoid issues. Then go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe 
Now power off the mobile phone. We need a data cable and use a good quality of data cable. The other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Now check the mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off. We have to boot the phone into TWRP. Connect the cable first with the mobile phone. Wait for it. Let the mobile phone shows that it is getting charged. Right now press and Hold the volume up key and power key. When the logo appears, release the power key. Okay, wait for it. Do not release the volume up key. After a few seconds, you can release the volume up key. Definitely the mobile phone will boot into TWRP. Swipe to allow modifications. Now we have to format the data. So for that, tap Y then tap format data type Y E S and tap here done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery once again swipe to allow modifications definitely you will see the internal storage will get pop up on your computer screen right now I will go to my downloaded folder and I will simply copy the eternity ROM version 5.4 Make sure you have downloaded the correct file for the correct mobile phone or variant, right? Copy the ROM file, the latest one from the computer hard drive. Then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. Now it will take a time, so we have to wait here. So I got the file on my internal storage of the mobile phone. So I am done from the computer right now. Disconnecting the cable from the mobile phone first. Then unlocking the TWRP screen. Simply tap install. Then select the Eternity ROM version 5.4 by tapping on it and then swipe to start flushing it. Now here you can see that to avoid any issues please format data under vibe or etc etc so i have done already this thing so press the volume up key once to continue now it will take a time so we have to wait here flushing turn script succeeded tap reboot system so the mobile phone will stay a little long on the logo and then it will start booting to the One UI 7 ported ROM Eternity ROM version 5.4. The first boot will take a time. One UI 7 welcome screen got appears on my mobile phone. So I will complete the setup screen. Things done smoothly. So I got the updates on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Right. I will go to About Phone. Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Model number is N975F. After tapping the software information, the ROM got updated. One UI 7.0, same version. Android 15, same version. But the ROM version is a 20 ROM 5.4. And this ROM is pre-rooted, coming with the kernel SU next support. We'll tap the kernel SU. Let me check if it is opening. Yes, it is opening. The manager version is 1.0.9, which is working. I got super user section over here, module section over here, and settings. Now, the thing is, because I was getting a message after making a video, after making a video, make the strong integrity method also show us so let me show how to get the strong integrity on the eternity rom version 5.4 okay i am back and uh, i have uh, uh, logged in my gmail account also download few uh, applications still it is getting download so well uh, for the getting strong integrity the things that requires i already got it first of all 
as you know that uh, this rom is coming pre-rooted with the kernel su support so we don't have to root the rom right and then uh, the integrity checker application that you have to download from the google play store i will show the device well you can see that device is not certified so about the modules files well links are all provided in my video description we have to download the modules file which is like busybox this one ls pose plain integrity fix 4.2 inject shemiko tricky store tricky add-on yuriki zygis ls pose and zygis assistant and zygis next how many they are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten modules files that i have downloaded straight to my mobile phone now we have to install it with the help of the kernel su next open the kernel su next go to the module section and tap install and uh, tap recent select the galaxy note 10 plus storage change the view right scroll down and first install the Zygis LS post. Done. Go back. Tap install. Scroll down. Then install the Zygis assistant. Okay, done. Go back. Tap install. Scroll down. Install Zygis next module. Done. Go back. Tap install scroll down and then install the busy box turn go back tap install scroll down install the ls pose turn go back tap install scroll down then install the shemuku turn go back tap install scroll down install the tricky store turn then go back tap install scroll down and tap the tricky add-on module turn go back tap install scroll down install the yuri key okay turn go back tap install scroll down and the last one is the plain integrity fix file tap on it tap ok turn right now reboot the device by tapping the reboot Okay, the phone got rebooted and back to the ROM. Now I will tap the integrity checker to show that what I will get after tapping the check button here. Make sure to connect the Wi Fi or uh, the internet must be connected. So the thing is that, well, I already installed some modules, that, that is why the green color. You can see that basic integrity and uh, device integrity but the strong integrity still in red color right now i will go back and i will open the kernel su next then i will go to the module section now up here first thing first you need to check any modules showing that updates available then update it the integrity checker shows that uh, the device integrity pass and the basic integrity pass but only the strong integrity is not passed so i will try to uh, get the strong integrity all only right if i tap the play integrity fix the open is not prominent okay leave it now go to tricky store tap to open the tricky store then tap open on this window see the three lines top side to the right side tap on it and tap select all again tap three lines then tap deselect unnecessary then tap three lines once again then tap set valid key box this one right tap on it valid key box set successfully then again tap three lines then set security patch and tap get security patch date done tap save done once again tap save 
turn right now go back then tap the UD key box manager and tap this one the first one okay things are all done at the end you can see that meets strong integrity with your key manager tap close go back to the main screen then first uh, clear the data of the play store simply keep tapping on it then tap app info and scroll down tap storage tap clear data delete done and this time i will open the integrity checker once again right so first the two green color and the last one is in red color because because i checked before now let me check once once again now you can see that all three tick sign in green color i got the strong integrity also done now let me show the device certified Op uh, opening the play store device is certified right things done smoothly i got the updated version of the eternity rom 5.4 and i got the strong integrity also the rom is pre-rooted having kernel su next support all things done perfectly the application that you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the google play store so this is the best rom coming with the so many fix and definitely you will enjoy the rom thank you so much uh, do not forget to like the video subscribe my channel also we'll see you in my next video take a good care goodbye